What up, y'all? Chargers Truther, coming to you uh, July 21st or so. Um, haven't really posted a video in a while because uh, I'm out here in Mexico traveling. I'm in Guadalajara right now. But here I'm going to talk about, you know, what's at stake in 2023. So let me drink this, uh, take a sip of this big old Modelo. Cheers. Um, so, yeah. Pretty much, uh, we have a lot on the line in 2023. We're on the verge of entering a new era of Chargers football. And what I mean by that <clears throat> is that uh, Brandon Staley, our head coach, uh, is probably on the line this season, even though he's only in his third season. And the GM, Tom Telesco, more importantly, uh, in his 11th season, is probably on the line this season. He may be getting fired if we disappoint again along with Brandon Staley both of them might be on their way out if we disappoint of course we have high hopes we uh you know I think we really can make a playoff push a Super Bowl push I mean um but anything less than say a divisional round playoff berth you know um at least one playoff win two playoff wins an AFC championship uh is I is actually what we're really I think that's really where our bar should be the AFC championship I know that's a very high bar but, um, you know, we've been waiting a long time to put this thing together. Tom Telesco has been here too long. He's only had two wild card wins. Those are his only playoff, you know, wins. Um, just not good enough, really. So uh, it's coming to, you know, it's coming to be time that we move on from this general manager and enter a new era of Chargers football. I'm just saying, if we disappoint again, like we have been recently, you know, last season we lost in the wild card when we had very high hopes you know we struggled in a lot of areas and I hope um, you know we learn from that and we fix that rush defense rush offense uh, really held us back and those are the fundamentals the fundamentals of football I think we really need to address that um, but again you know we I truly do think that we can put it together and uh, make a Super Bowl run like I said but the reality is that uh, it's do or die for us in 2023. It's do or die for our general manager and for our head coach. So uh, honestly, it's kind of a win-win situation if you think about it. Uh, either one, we make a good playoff push, uh, AFC championship or, chip or something like that. Or two, uh, we get rid of these guys that haven't really been you know, accomplishing much and we enter a new era of Chargers football. Uh, it's maybe a little worrying, but in my opinion, I think that it's exciting. We should be excited about that. Uh, I know I might be getting too ahead of myself, uh, you know, creating this scenario where we fire our general manager <clears throat> might be a little scary. Who Who's going to be the next guy? What's he going to be like? Is he going to be worse? You know, maybe he's going to be worse. If not, you know, maybe he's better. Uh, it's just a lot of unknown and uncertainty can be um, frightening could be a little scary but the thing is when we've had this general manager here for 10 years now 11 years and he hasn't been able to put it together you know that's that's just as bad like it can't really get any worse than that you know we want a Super Bowl what we can't just keep waiting and waiting and waiting forever uh you know if you're not making that Super Bowl run it's just as bad as not making this playoffs you know you might as well try something new Justin Herbert is is getting older. Uh, we can't just keep waiting. You know, we've got to just put put the cards on the table. You know, <clears throat> and go for this thing. We really need to take advantage of Justin Herbert and what we have in this special, special player. Uh, we can't waste his youth, his you know, his playing career. You know, we need to maximize this and find someone who's going to be able to really put this thing together. If it's not uh, Tom Telesco, if it's not Brandon Staley. We need to find who that's going to be. The time, the clock is ticking, you know, and we need to be urgent about this thing. So, <clears throat> so again, just to, uh, you know, wrap this whole thing up, um, this is going to be a short video, of course. I'm in Mexico, I know, uh, not at home. But, again, we're on the verge of a new era of Chargers football. General manager in his 11th season hasn't really done much. Getting ready to, <clears throat> you know, to do or die for him. Either make a great playoff push or we move on from this guy and try something new. Turn the page, turn the chapter, see if the grass is greener on the other side. Because the grass on this side hasn't been that green, really. Uh, we're going to see if it's going to be green this final season. But if not, 
it's time to check out what that grass is like on the other side. So <clears throat> again, this, <clears throat> this is a positive video, you know, this is good. Uh, finally gonna be able to hold these guys accountable. You know, you either win and succeed or we find someone who's gonna do that. You know, we need winners. We're looking for winners. So uh, this is a step in the right direction, I believe, uh, in the pursuit of championship, you know, a, a real winning culture, real winning team, Super Bowl. We're talking about Lombardi trophies. We're not talking about one playoff win. We're not talking about just being a good team, you know. We're talking about championships, and that's what football is really all about. You know, that's what I am really pushing for every single season, you know. that I mean, that's what it's all about, really. So, <clears throat> again, we either win or we find we get someone else new, and we're going to see what they got because can't keep waiting forever. We can't keep waiting forever, guys. So it's exciting. Um, I'm excited for this season. going to be a good season, I think. <clears throat> Justin Herbert, <clears throat> excuse me, Justin Herbert again this fourth season, hoping that he can uh, elevate to another level and hoping that we can solidify this team around him to really hope to really help him and, uh, you know, not have so much pressure on him and just become a solid, balanced team, hitting on all cylinders. That's how I think that we're going to be a Super Bowl champion, really. Uh, we need everyone. We need, we need pass offense, pass defense, rush offense, rush defense. And it comes from the general manager, the, the coaches, you know, scheming it up, or whatever. It comes from those guys up top, you know, getting the right people on the field with the right plan, you know. Um, so, looking for winners. We're expecting championship, and uh, it, it's going to be an exciting year. It really is. So, cheers to that. Go Chargers. Hell yeah. All right. Bolt up. Um, yeah, I'm here in Mexico. Uh, it's kind of a weird video. I'm just in a hotel right now. Maybe I'll post some. Um, if you guys want, maybe I could post some videos. I don't know. This is a Chargers YouTube channel, but I don't know. I can maybe put some uh, some of my travel videos on here. Who knows? So yeah, appreciate all your support. Let me know what you think. I'm always down to talk football. I love all you guys. I love talking football in general. Um, I'm not here to fight people. I'm not here to get pissed off or anything. I'm here to just you know shoot the shit, talk some football, and have some fun, and uh, you know be real about these things. I'm not here to. I'm not here either to just make friends and just have people like me. No, I'm here to be real about this stuff. And hopefully people can appreciate that. So, yeah, Chargers Truth, I'm out. Thank you.